Shalom, Shalom, Kaha Loyam, La Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawa Shai, Bahasham, Rahakodash, the one is to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone who rule well, Shalom, Wahasa, Lahabaki, your peace and mercy to the elect, the fellow servant, Thumb Yadi, I represent the GMS Church here in Cleveland, back in the spirit, and hoping I pray this edifying lesson. <clears throat> it's a quick lesson, Lord willing. Um, just going into the type of conduct that we're supposed to have in this ministry of ours, how we're supposed to conduct ourselves, our MOs, our, 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 I forget how you say it in the Latin, that, um, that acronym MO, it means mode of operandi, if I'm not mistaken. So how do we operate in this walk, in this faith? We got several examples in the Holy Scriptures, which you got individuals in this day and age, which will, will and even Paul said that. He said that the, 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 that the ministers of Satan transform themselves into the servants of, of light. I'm butchering the Scriptures and it's in the Corinthians, all right? You see? So you got individuals that claim to be men of the Lord, that claim to be doing the bidding of the Heavenly Father, but in all actuality, they serve in their own belly, pursuant to the scriptures, man. You see? And that can be detrimental to your health, okay? Because ultimately, you're supposed to have that meek spirit upon you, because that's who's going to inherit the earth, pursuant to Matthew, the fifth chapter. The meek shall inherit the earth. We can go into the word meek. It goes into a particular word in the Latin, pros, to be exact. All right? And it basically goes into being wholly dependent upon the Heavenly Father. That's one definition of the word meek. And it also goes into basically knowing that the individuals that come up against you, they the Heavenly Father sent them. You see? And that's where you have the, 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 the separation between Great Millstone and these other camps, man. You see? All right? We believe, we, we believe in the scriptures wholly. All right, but I just wanted to get this example um, of the Apostle Paul, okay, and what happened to him. You see, they 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 violated, they violated Apostle Paul, right? If Paul get Barnabas and 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 other individuals, you know, his other um um that accompanied him, you know, Barnabas, um, did, did he get did he get Timothy? You see, did he get uh, a Epaphroditus, right? Did he did he did he do a public service and now and tell all them to pull up to Lystra and Derby? These niggas just stoned me, nigga. Pull up to Lystra and Derby. These niggas violated. We gotta get we gotta get back. You see, no, because Paul was in the spirit of Yahweh Shah Mashiach, man. Right. And even when you go into another account in Acts, the fifth chapter, would also it was dealing with Peter, and I believe the Apostle John, if I'm not mistaken. Matter of fact, let me get it real quick. Because they didn't say, oh, these niggas violated, Joe. These niggas violated. Vengeance belongeth unto the Heavenly Father. We got we to gotta remember that, man. You see? And how we going to get vengeance before our Lord and Savior got his, his get back, man? You see? Niggas want to go over Yahweh Shai, man. You see? See, this is um, Acts, the fifth chapter, and um, verse 17. Now it says, in release. Right, so we 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 supposed to suffer, okay? That's what we're in this ministry for, to suffer. Right to 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 be in straight. So we we're in a position of difficulty, man. All right, and we don't you 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 reacting off of your emotions. That's that's feminine. That's what women do, man. Men we able to um, restrain ourselves. We able to suppress our emotions for the greater good. Okay, this is Acts fifth chapter and seventeen. It says imprisonment and release. The apostles meet opposition. Right, so they had ops. Just like niggas in the community, in the neighborhoods today, right? The ops this, the ops that. So the apostles, they had opposition, man. Niggas who was opposing them, right? And they was their own people, you see? So how much more some heathens, man? 
All right, how much more some heathens? You see, I like the elder Elder Malcolm said, and all the brothers, the elders, the apostles, they spoke on the situation, man. Now, if an individual attack you, right, you 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 within your right to defend yourself. Okay, we're not saying that you just supposed to let a nigga just beat you down. You you know. You, you got to be spiritual about it, though, man. You see, that's why you got to have that discernment that the Heavenly Father gave to his men. The prophets are the Lord's men. So the Lord's men, they going to have that discernment, all right? Right? And just like Elder Mwantazak said, with our forefather, King David, he ain't just go out to battle, man. You see, he got counsel and he inquired of the Heavenly Father. Should I chase these niggas down? Should I, should, should I let them go? Right? You see? So, right, that's what Chief Ephraim should have told Jake. Let's inquire of the Lord. But they ain't no men of the Lord. See, the real men of the Lord, that's the that's the um, response that they will give. The apostles and the elders. Well, 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 the apostles and elders, they got multiple testimonies. The niggas from ICGJC attacked them. What you think they did? You see? And it was, it, 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 they, was they was outnumbered, I say, five to one. I'll just... Just throw that number out there. They was our number five to one. You see? And after the, the, the confrontation, the, the apostle called all the brothers of GMS and tell brothers that the brother from GMS London, they get on the flight and come to, <laughs> to Chicago. And the brother from Tanzania get come on the flight to Chicago. And the brothers from Italy get on the flight, come to Chicago. No. You see? It says, um, uh, Acts 5 and 17, then the high priest rose up, and all they that were with him, and these jakes right here, because at this time, the high priest were Israelites, so-called Negroes, okay, so you can understand, which is the sect of the Sadducees, right, and I forget the difference between the, the Sadducees and the Pharisees, I believe the Sadducees, they didn't believe in a reincarnation or the resurrection, and the, and the Pharisees did, you see? Um, you could look it up. I, I forget in particular uh, b b the difference between the two. It says, uh, um, and we're filled with indignation. So they was they was angry at Paul. Okay, at the at the apostles. I don't, I don't think it's Paul right here. I think this is uh, Paul, uh, Peter, because when you read up, that's who that's who in particular is mentioned. Peter, and I want to say John as well. It says, and laid their hands on the apostles, and. <laughs> When they say laid their hands on them, what you what you think? Well, verse 18 it says they arrested the apostles and put them in the public jail. You see? So usually when when these centurions arrest you, it ain't it ain't a, it, you know, you can you can like you look at these different mugshots where Jake get arrested for a particular crime. He the mugshot, you get a busted eye, his eye swole, you got a busted lip. You see what I'm saying? You got a black eye. You see his eye closed. You see his nose bloody. You see, because they try to you they try to intimidate you. That's what the police do, man. So it was the same thing back then. You see, niggas is just reincarnated because you got niggas that's on the police force too. You got you got you got you got niggas that's like what's what's the what's them niggas who like the chief of police? They be niggas. You see. And the scripture tell you in um, Wisdom of Solomon, uh, 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 um, what is that? Wisdom of Solomon, uh, I want to say 10 and 1. It says, as the king is, so is his officers, so on and so forth. But let me keep going. It says, verse um, 19 in the NLT, it said, but an angel of the Lord came at night. Right. See, we're supposed to depend on the heavenly father. Wait ye upon the Lord, for his determination is to... Rise up against the nations, man. So you can pour out his indignation pursuant to the scriptures. You see? It says, But an angel of the Lord came at night and opened the gates of the jail and brought them out. Then told them, verse 20, Go to the temple and give the people this message of life. Right. Go preach the word, man. Okay? Feed my sheep. The same thing Yahweh Shah told his, his, his the disciples who became apostles, man. If you love me, feed my sheep. He told Peter that. All right? <clears throat> it says, 
uh, verse verse 21. So at daybreak, the apostles entered the temple as they were told and immediately began teaching. When the high priest and his office, officials arrived, they convened the high council, the full assembly of the elders of Israel. Then they sent for the apostles to be brought from the jail for trial. Um, and there's a point that I wanted to get in particular. It's actually down. Let me jump down so I can. I don't want to make this too long. Uh, this is Acts and Acts 5 and And verse uh, 39, it says, But if it be of the heavenly father, ye cannot overthrow it. Right. So if the man, if you really a man of the Lord and you preaching the, the word of the heavenly father and truth and sincerity, it ain't nothing nobody going to be able to do to stop you. You see, whether they assault you physically, right, whether they throw you in prison as they did uh, Peter in this instance. Right, even if they take your life, right? Because uh, the the apostle Paul, he was beheaded by um the emperor Nero, if I'm not mistaken. Then you had our forefather John the, the John the Baptist. They brought his head in a charger, you see, for Herodias' uh, sake. The, 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 she was an adulterous, wicked woman, you see. I forget which one of the Herods. Um, I know it was in Herod the Great, might have been Herod Archelaus, who basically gave the 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 okay to do that to Apostle Paul. But it says, and it's the point, man. It's the point, right? But you cannot have thought less happily you be found even to fight against the heavenly father. See, nigga, you don't want to fight against the heavenly father. See, they wanna they wanna mono e mono, you know, fist of cuffs. They the, the heathen and two thirds of our people they like those type of altercations man you see but you can't box with god like 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 like, like the saying goes man you can't box with the heavenly father if that is the saying if not i coin it you can't box with god which i think it is but verse verse 40 this is the point and to him they agreed who they agreed to gamaliel because he was giving different examples about individuals who came up before before peter and john and the apostles man and gamaliel he's the he's the tutor or uh, he's the tutor of Paul, the Apostle Paul, right? Gamilio, he's a doctor of the law. When you go up, when you read it, man, you see, it says, and they agreed, right? Who agreed? The, 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 the um, basically the Jews of the circumcision. They agreed, right? The priests, the elders, like it was mentioned in the, in up in the top of the, the 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 chapter, man. And when they had called the apostles and beaten them. They commanded that they should not speak in the name of Yahweh Shah and let them go. So, right, they called the apostles, they beat them, right? And then they let them go. With the apostles, did they let the apostles go? Did they come together? Did they huddle up? And did, did, did the apostles say, all right, look, you I'm you going to go go over here to Lystra, go to Derby, get such and such, right? Go to go to uh 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 send a letter to uh, uh, uh to Corinth, send a letter to to Galatia, send a letter no, and tell all the brothers to we coming up here these they 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 just beat us man, no, right this is what they did right I'll give you an example. It says and they departed from the presence of the council rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer shame for his name. In the NLT, the apostles left the high council rejoicing that God had counted them worthy to suffer disgrace for the name of Yahweh Shai. Woo! You see? So, the, when the Lord put you in these different situations, in these, uh, um, you know, um, in these different situations, you're supposed to glorify the Heavenly Father. You're supposed to praise the Heavenly Father because you're supposed to know. Like I said, go read. Matthew is the fifth chapter, and look the word meek up in the blue letter in the in the in the in the Greek, all right, and see what it goes into, man. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna just do it just real quick, man. Matthew five and what it says the meek. I'm going to the word meek, right? Matthew five and five. Bless are the meek, 
for they shall inherit the earth. Right? God blesses those who are humble, for they will inherit the earth. Now, let's look the word meek up. All right. All right. Yep. Here we go. Pros. Strong's G, 4239. Pros. 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 Thayer's lexicon, related entry, praos, praos. Uh, it's a part right here. Uh, oh, 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 here we go. So this is the meaning of meekness. I'm meek. A meekness toward the Heavenly Father is that disposition of spirit in which we accept his dealings with us as good. And they're right, because you could have lost your life. The Heavenly Father could have. Took you to the spirit world, man. We all worthy of death. So you get a little ass whooping, you get kicked in the ass, man. You praise the heavenly father. I remember an instance, I, I was doing some shit with a brother. And a brother can vouch, man. And I said, uh, I was working on a car or something like that. I smashed it. I smashed my hand hard as hell with a hammer. To the, to the point where my fingernail, it was black for like, I don't know, two weeks. You know, it was black for two weeks. But what was my... Response to that, I could have like, God, you know, curse the heavenly Father. That's what niggas do, man. You know, but me, I said the water y'all about me, I was shy. Why? Because the heavenly Father could have did much worse to me. And that's for you individuals who calling all gimps, man. Some of you niggas ain't gonna show up. I can't wait to the heavenly Father give us power. <laughs> you see? But we gotta be counted worthy to receive that power. So the Lord gotta try us. You know, uh, uh, gold is tried in the fire, an acceptable man in the furnace of adversity. So we got to go through adversity, man. Okay. <clears throat> it says, uh, and therefore, without disputing or resisting, it said, in the Old Testament, the meek are those wholly relying on the Heavenly Father rather than their own strength to defend against injustice. Con. So that's a, that's just one part of it, the word of uh, uh, the definition of meek. In the Old Testament, the meek, this is throughout the scriptures, man, right? But in particular, you go into the Old Testament, you got the stories of our forefather, our forefather, King David. You see? In particular, I'm thinking about King David, the judges of Israel. You see? They all prayed, inquired of the Heavenly Father, and they, 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 they prayed the Heavenly Father defend them from their enemies, man. You see? And, and, and avenge them. Right? Verse, oh, I'm talking about verse. It says, and it, it's the part too. I want to highlight this part right here, right? Uh, just block you. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to up right here. Right. So it says, thus meekness toward evil people, <coughs> excuse me. Means knowing the heavenly father is permitting the injuries they inflict, right? So if you meek, that's going to be in the, in the forefront of your mind when situations come again. Lord willing, we got to pray that this comes into our mind, right? And this, this, I always think about this, you know, when it, in instances of, we're in the flesh, man. That's why we got to constantly uh, purge out the old man. We got to, you know, that nigga. Like the elders in the Akim said, man, it says, hear this part. Thus, meekness toward evil people means knowing the Heavenly Father is permitting the injuries they inflict. The Heavenly Father, the one who sent them. It was, it's a test. It's all a test, man. It's all a trial, right? The, 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 the trying of our faith, pursuant to the scriptures. It says that he is using them to purify his elect. And that he will deliver his elect in his time. Come. So when the heavenly father see fit for him to avenge you, he will. We just got to patient and wait, man. All right. So um, I'm going to go back to Acts and finish that. X 5. I think I was at the last verse anyway. X 5 and... 42, and daily in the temple and in every house they seize not to teach and preach Yahweh Shah Mashiach. Right. So I just want to get another account of Acts of Apostle Paul. Because that's what Jake said. They violated. Hell, the Banat Bawatazaki is going in on that lesson that he 
Brothers gotta check it out. I'm gonna put it in the description, y'all. Right to Zai about um about um going off your emotions can get you, you know, on alive basically. I'm gonna put it in the description box, Lord willing. Right? Um, so this Acts chapter 14 and verse. Uh, yeah, cause Paul he he did he did a miracle if I'm not mistaken. I gotta read this chapter over again. I need to read Acts again, man. Uh, let me just get to the point, man. Acts chapter fourteen and verse um. At 19, it says, I'm reading the NLT, then some Jews arrived from Antioch and Iconium, which I'm not mistaken, Paul and Barnabas, they had just left Antioch and Iconium and won the crowds to their side. It said they stoned Paul and dragged him out of the town thinking he was dead. But as the believers gathered around him, he got up and went back into the town the next day, the well, way he went back into the town. The next day, he left with Barnabas to Derby. So, right, when he got, when when, the, when they stoned the Apostle Paul, right, you know, half, damn near to death, and he, and the Lord revived him and put the life back in him if he, if he supposed he did die. The Lord revived him, put the life back in him. Did he say, all right, y'all, get, 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 go get the, go get the, uh, the, 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 the our fellow laborers, and, 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 you know, go get, uh, um, I'm trying to think of some names. <laughs> of, oh, <coughs> <coughs> uh, what's that? What's that letter? It was a one, one chapter. Philemon, go get Philemon and the, and the cripple and 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 and, and, and uh, what was the Jake who was in jail with him? Damn, I forget, man. But did did Paul say that? Did Paul sit out a public service announcement and tell all the counts? Look, these niggas just stoned me. These niggas just violated. Pull up. Pull up, pull up, oh man, pull up, oh, <laughs> it's not a joke, man, uh, it says, um, right, so, did, did, did the apostle Paul do that, no, right, it said, uh, verse 20, but as, uh, Mr. Lockie, uh, verse 21, well, that's really the point, man, that's, that's really the point, well, I'm gonna read 22 as well, um, verse 21, after preaching the good news in Derby and making many disciples, Paul and Barnabas returned to Lystra, Iconium, and Antioch, and Pisidia, where they strengthened the believers. It says they encouraged them to continue in the faith, reminding them that we must suffer many hardships to enter the kingdom of the Heavenly Father. The bishop, I told him when he did the lesson recently, yesterday. About our lives gonna get harder, but the Lord gonna increase us or some some to that effect, man. You know, brother, check that lesson out too. Beautiful lesson, man. You see, so so Paul reminded the believers, man, that we must suffer many hardships to enter the kingdom of the heavenly Father, man. You see, Paul knew that. He knew because if I'm not mistaken, the Lord told um what's his name, man. Damn, there's so many names. Sometimes they escape me. In Acts the ninth chapter, the one who came is their brother Paul, and he received his sight. Roughly, roughly paraphrasing, man. You see, he told him that the, the, the Paul, you must suffer many things for the name's sake of the Heavenly Father, man. So you know, if we come in instead of of a, of a prophet, just like the Apostle Paul was, okay, we come in instead of our, our Lord, our Shah Mashiach. Was the ultimate prophet? We coming in the stead of a prophet. This is nine times out of the, nine times out of the out of ten, right? This is the um, what's the word that I'm trying to say? This is basically gonna be the reaction of people against us. I want I, I want to say something else. I feel like, but yeah, but the but the point is, man, we supposed to be meek, humble. You, you see. We, the scripture said that uh, we, uh, uh, I seen you as a, a sheep in the midst of wolves, be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove, right? That the ministry be not blamed. They were talking about that dude, Adam Abbott. I, 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 hey, man, I just, I just <laughs> but I ain't going to, um, you know, we're going to 
they gonna get personal. He just stick to the scriptures, man. But I really, I really got a disdain for this, this, this M M F us, man. You know, he see, he said that about us. Man, all niggas make me sick, man. He got that DC act. Don't nigga make me sick, man. Yo, man. <laughs> yeah, man. But this was a quick lesson, man. I pray to F, man. Give all glory on it. Praise the call. Allah, you know, Yahweh, Ma'ashem. Yahweh, Shai, Ba'ashem, Ha'chadash. The Bible says, Apostle El is a great millstone. Rule well. Shalom, Ma'chasa, La'baki, Ha'mu'af, La'baba, Shalom.